Hey you cunts, welcome back to the kitchen. You probably clicked on this video because you're taking full advantage of social distance measures for a global pandemic. And you've gotten to the point of being so fucking lazy that you won't even drive your fat ass to McDonald's. Now let's take a second to let you use your fat, greasy thumbs to put in a grocery delivery order to be delivered by some low-paid worker that probably dropped your fucking groceries in a puddle. Let's get started. So what you want to start with is your standard cheap-ass pancake mix. I'm using this shit because I can't really eat grains too much. But you can use literally whatever the fuck you want. Do they make powdered dog shit pancakes? Yeah, you'll figure it out. Black market. Whichever one you buy, there's a certain way to do it. There's the way they tell you to do it on the box, and then there's the way that you need to do it, and that's what I'm gonna show you. Instead of water, use milk. Whole milk, or you're a fucking cunt. And crack an egg in there, if you're not afraid of cholesterol. If you use a whisk or a mixer to mix up your pancakes, get the fuck out of my country. We don't want you here. Okay, we use a, we use a fork. All right, when that shit is good and mixed up, you know, whatever, put it off to the side. Okay, so I'm using the just regular old Jimmy Dean sausage, but if you're looking for maximum heart disease potential, I would go for the maple. I've got this pan heating at about just below medium heat. We don't want it to get too hot or it'll fuck everything up and, and you just may have to take that trip to McDonald's. Make sure to contract COVID-19 while you're there. Okay, so as we do all things on this channel, I'm doing it grandma style, okay? Grab it, kind of do that type of fondling motion with it. Put it in a little circle. You see that shit? Boom, boom, like that. Slap it, beat your meat senselessly. I know you do it every night. And just kind of fan it out a little bit. Nothing fancy here, okay? We're not factory farming or anything like that. We're just figuring this shit out on the go. You can make it pretty fucking thin. As long as you slap it around, show it who's boss. Go take care of some of the loose ends and slap it down. And then we'll do another one just for showman's sake. I know this is not the most attractive looking scene for some of you cunts, but you know what? If you're a vegan or whatever and you're watching this channel, what are you, what are you really doing with your life, huh? Have you, have you just stumbled upon this shit and decided, okay, this guy's pretty good looking. I'll, I'll stick around. All right. Couple love taps just for good measure, boom, right there. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's just a light sizzle going on. We don't want it to get too hot, like I said. And the reason why we want it to be thin is we don't want to spend too much time. You know, you're a fat ass, your, your blood sugar levels are just off the charts, and you want to get this shit in your gullet as fast as possible. If you do decide to cut really thick ones, let me show you something. If your griddle has a lid, or you know, you can use whatever just to cover them, uh, it's a good idea to cover these if you want to, uh, you know, want them to cook a little bit faster, more thoroughly. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm not really a fan of super raw ground pork. See that color? That's kind of what we're after. We don't want it to get too brown or it'll, it'll, it just doesn't taste right to me. I don't know about you, but there we go. If you're a fan of the channel and you've seen the sausage patty video, the one with a lot of views, um, I pour water or whatever, some kind of liquid into this. We're not doing it this time because we're working with bread or something like bread. So I'm basically just gonna let it sit under this cover so we get it cooked all the way fucking through. Okay, I'll let that sit for about two minutes under cover and uh, you can see the juices are starting to come out of it. Looks like it's looking pretty good to me. So I'm just gonna immediately pull them off and this, you know, you'd, you'd say, hey, you're probably done with this pan, right? No. Listen, you cunts. We're trying to get the most flavor out of this as possible, so you know what that means. We keep the fat in there, okay? So, scraping off the excess shit, and then here we go with the pancake mix. The part that's the hardest for me in doing this is uh, the size of the pancake. Okay, I'm actually probably gonna add a little bit more milk. Just a splash. Okay, we want it to be a pretty good consistency, but we also don't wanna run out because it's fucking annoying. So, we really don't have to make the pancakes very big. You may even bump the temperature up just a little bit because we want the pancakes to be kind of the same size as the sausage. There's an innuendo in there somewhere. Okay, here we go. 
So basically just gonna test it out. And I have the ones on the side for comparison. Here we go. It's probably about good for that one. I know it doesn't, it doesn't seem right to be making such small pancakes. Okay, you stupid fucks know how to make pancakes. Okay, we'll just, you know, flip them over when the bubbles start showing up. And there you go. Nice pretty little pancake for you. And if you're using the birch benders, whatever, the uh, grain-free ones, you really gotta make sure it's cooked all the way through, okay? These take a little bit, they seem to take a little bit longer than wheat to cook all the way through. Um, and you know how annoying it is to have gooey center of a pancake, it's just gross. Okay, it looks about done. I'm gonna flip it over and put it on the plate. If you look at this, boom, look at that. First layer, it's even a little bit too big, but that's fine. And then top of that, bam, right there. Okay, so for the top one, since the good people are gonna see it, here's something that we wanna do. Just make it like usual, pretty small, boom. And while it's cooking, I'm gonna grab some maple syrup, okay? You thought this was just gonna be a simple little recipe video, you know? Here we go. So, I usually use sugar-free syrup, you know, the fake shit. Um, but for the sake of the video, I know that real sugar actually cooks way better than the fake shit. So, what I'm gonna do here is uh, something, I, something I learned a long time ago, okay? I'm gonna very gently, very gently, with the precision and skill, Make a little, okay, that's not quite the golden arches, okay? You, you get the idea, okay? Boom, let's try it in there. It'll probably, sh it might show up. Ah, it's just sinking in there, okay? Well, you know, you know what? It's the thought that counts, okay? Jesus, leave me alone, stop screaming. Well, okay, okay. Maybe, I, maybe I didn't wait long enough. All right, J just, just relax, okay? This is technically the first time I've ever done it this way, okay? Just. Stop judging me. I can see you. I can feel you. <coughs> Smells pretty good in here. <coughs> okay, well, you know what? Fuck it. Okay, there you go. Boom. At least it's... Okay, it's kind of burnt. It, uh, just forget, just forget that part, okay? When your pancake is the same color as the skillet, you know it's done. Okay, it's kind of ugly, but you know what? I can just... Boom, I can just flip it around, see? prettier now. Easy. That's probably what they do at McDonald's. Okay, maybe the second one will be prettier. Okay. So I'm taking some of the grease from the side and then right down in there. I make it even smaller this time. I don't want it to be too small but then because it'll be like, I don't know, it just, it'll, it'll hurt my, my manhood, you know? There it is. There we go. Looks done to me. Get that sausage. Plop it on there. I think that's actually perfect. Boom. Look at that. Beautiful. There's all that pancake, large pancake pride. I don't, it's, it's weird. Here we go with the second one. I'm gonna try the golden arches uh, routine again. This time I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. We're trying to get some beautiful golden arches on the top. Probably not gonna happen, but who knows? Maybe it could. Okay, so I've turned the heat down just a little bit. It's starting to get dry on the top. So what I'm gonna try to do is make golden arches, but a little bit smaller so it doesn't drip over the edge. Oh my God, look at that. Fuck. All right, well, it's a cursive M, okay? You troglodytes. I've never seen cursive before, okay? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, you're not cultured like me. Well, there it goes toward the edge. You can see it. Yeah, there it goes. So I'm just gonna flip it, fuck it. Okay, that didn't work out at all. Uh, but at least we'll, maybe we'll get some, some burnt sugar taste in there. Hey, come here. There we go. Boom. Pretty perfect size on that second one. Have it, you cunts. A simple recipe to satisfy your disgusting cravings. Pretty fucking good. If you like this video, I have over 60 more just like it. Leave a comment below letting me know how much of a worthless piece of shit I am. Have a great fucking day. Keep your bitches out of the kitchen, and I'll see you in the next one.
Raiden, disregard what I just told you. The most important thing for you to do now is enjoy a mouth-watering Egg McMuffin sandwich from the new all-day breakfast menu at McDonald's. All of your favorite McDonald's breakfast items now available all day at participating McDonald's restaurants. And Raiden, always remember, I'm loving it.